why am I getting headaches when I read, specifically when I read? Not necessarily just all cognitive activity in general, but specifically when reading. The first thing you have to understand is a concept called referred pain. So referred pain is a pain that's felt somewhere in your body that actually originates from somewhere else. The most common or well-known example of this would be a heart attack. Okay, when you're having a heart attack, you can have pain in the chest, but also frequently people feel pain down the left arm or pain into the jaw, right? There's nothing wrong with your left arm. There's nothing wrong with your jaw, but it's how your brain perceives pain. Your brain just goes, there's something really bad going on over here, and I don't exactly know where it is, but that's how you feel it. And oftentimes that might be the only sensation you have is this pain in your left arm, but it's actually coming from your heart. So referred pain is a pain that's from a location that actually presents in a different location. Your neck, the muscles and joints in your neck can refer pain into your head, okay? A lot of headaches are actually neck-related headaches. They get diagnosed, misdiagnosed as migraine headaches or um, you know, other types of headaches, but a lot of times they're just neck-related headaches. And it's funny because patients will come in saying, oh yeah, I'm a migraine sufferer, and you ask them about the, the character of their headaches, and they're not migraine at all, and you start poking around on their neck, and you're able to recreate the headache they feel just by pushing on certain muscles and joints in their neck. Okay, so that's the first thing you have to understand is that your neck can create headaches through this concept of referred pain. Oftentimes these patients don't even have any pain in their neck because they only feel it as this headache. Right? I have this headache that's right in the front of my head that's right here that increases when I read or I feel pain in my eyes or right behind my eyes when I read or on one side or on the other side um, or on the sides of my head or right on the top of my head. Some people will describe this sensation of a screwdriver being poked through the top of their head. Just based on the location of where you tell me your headache is, I know exactly what muscles are likely to be causing it and I can go and check those and then determine what the cause of your headache may be. Now. Every time, so that's referred pain. That's concept number one. Concept number two is anytime your eyes move side to side, up and down, any direction at all, it also sends a signal to the brain that sends signals to the muscles in your neck to engage. And the reason for that is it's probably a biological evolutionary thing where something moves off to the peripheral vision aspect, you know, something moves off to my right side, your left, my right, my eyes are going to look at it, but I'm also going to want to maybe turn my head at the same time. So anytime my eyes go to the right, all of the muscles in my neck that are di directed or, or assigned the job of turning my head right will engage in preparation for that. They might not turn my head, but they're ready to. Okay? And if you take your fingers and you put them right up here in the base of your skull, like just below, your skull kind of dips down into your neck, and you feel right at the very top of your neck. Sam's doing it right now. If you put your fingers up there, everyone watching or listening right now, take your fingers, run them down the back of your skull, right to where it dips into a divot into the back of your neck, and then just, just with your eyes, look side to side, back and forth, and you will feel muscles twitching, Sam felt it, you will feel muscles twitching under your fingers the side to side motion, those muscles right there, and that's exactly what I'm talking about, as you move your eyes side to side, those muscles engage in preparation to turn your head if they need to. So that's how your eyes and your neck are connected because you're, you know, you're set up in a physiological way. You don't do things step by step, right? When you go to throw a ball, the first thing you do is weight transfer and then turn your obliques and everything. You don't throw a ball just with your arm. You, there's a, it's a whole body motion, but it's all coordinated and it, you do it without thinking. So it's the same thing. Your eyes are moving back and forth. Every muscle in your neck that is designed to turn your head in that same direction engages. When you look up, muscles that tilt, tilt your head up will go as well. When you look down, same thing. So any eye motion is gonna have a neck component to it to make sure that movement is coordinated and quick if you need it to be, okay? Now, so if we have a dysfunctional muscle or a muscle that's super, super tight and painful, you might not even feel the pain here, but you might feel it as a headache. With a concussion, there's always gonna be some element of whiplash involved. Just because concussion is caused by acceleration and deceleration of the brain, 
Whiplash is acceleration deceleration of the neck. The head and the neck are obviously attached. So anytime the head's gonna undergo acceleration deceleration enough to cause concussion, you're also gonna have mild strain injury to the ligaments, joints, muscles of the neck itself. So we have the injury that happens simultaneously to both parts. Now when you're reading, your eyes are moving back and forth. You may have some dysfunction or whatever in, in, in your neck. And now as those muscles are firing back and forth, as you're reading the lines, they start to refer pain into your head. So now the muscles back here, the inferior oblique muscles, their referral is sides of the head, forehead, and right behind the eyes. So people will describe this like eye pain when I read. I get eye pain when I read. It may be one side, it may be both sides. Okay, but oftentimes those headaches are actually related to neck issues and it's only because you're reading and your eyes are moving back and forth that you start to get those headaches that come up. Now, this could also be things like eye strain, right? You may need to see an optometrist, get a prescription update. This may be due to blood flow impairments. You may have increased cognitive load while reading. That's a possibility, but I find that often the most under appreciated and overlooked condition in this is a simple neck issue that can be easily treated with a little bit of rehab and a little bit of tissue work um, and and some um, uh, adjustments if uh, if you have somebody who has a skill set to do that so this type of stuff can be very helpful very quickly for people that have headaches due to reading